Hey everybody, welcome to Kieran Rice University. I am Ed Cruz, and today we're gonna to do a pretty exciting subject, and it's called Wing Chun, the perfect punch, and how to do it correctly, and all the main points regarding it. By the way, thanks for subscribing to the site. Uh, if you want, subscribe below, follow us on all the uh, social media stuff, and lately, since we're all on lockdown for, at least for us, uh, until the end of the month, I've been doing Zoom classes, uh, which is free to everybody. Just come to the Kieran Rice Facebook site, uh, Kieran Rice Wing Chun, uh, Kieran Rice University um, on Facebook, type it in, and I've been doing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes even on Saturdays. So check it out when you get a chance. So today, what do we need to do to actually do the perfect Wing Chun punch? First of all, let's do this first. Make sure we don't have to make a fist. Fist is a very simple process. Roll your hand like this, individual hand like this, thumb over the index finger, and the amount of tension, imagine you holding a grape, or there's like a little bit of air inside the middle of your, of your hand, that's just the right amount of tension that you want for your fist. Don't squeeze. If you can feel yourself squeezing the inner, inner muscles within your hand, arm and forearm, you're doing too much. So, when it comes to the perfect punch, remember this rule, remember this rule, it's so important. Motion, not muscle, leads to power. And it's very typical for guys when they actually do Wing Chun Punch, they wanna, you know, you watch movies, you watch Bruce Lee stuff and so forth, and everyone's saying, let me punch it harder and harder. But just remember, it's motion, not muscle, leads to power, okay? So first of all, open up your Yichikimi Ma stance, and obviously we know that's very important to do. Make sure you're in the proper position and you have both hands in the center line. That's the key thing too. Remember, both hands are always in the center line. Remember, don't squeeze too hard. And just look how I'm doing my motion first, okay? In the beginning when you're learning how to do the punch, even later on in the, in the stages, after you think you actually know it, you'll be surprised that you're, you're trying to chisel it down. Because in the beginning you're thinking, let's add more muscle, let's add more power and stuff like that. Even if I tell you don't do that, it's just a natural tendency amongst guys to do that. So be aware, do the, do, the, do the punch first, and then start whittling it down as far as how much muscle is actually necessary to do the motion, okay? So from here, always, number one, remember, both hands are always in the center line, okay? That's the number one thing to remember first is hands in the center line. Otherwise, you'll be punching like this. See how people punch like this? Okay, that's a no-no. Both hands always in the center line. Okay, rule number two to make the perfect Wing Chun punch. You're punching straight. Remember to punch straight. So remember if you punch, see how, see at the end of the motion, my motion is going straight. Don't go like this. If you feel like you're hammering the end motion down, that's wrong. Not only are you doing it wrong, you're also hurting your elbow. So remember, end of the motion, straight. Straight, so that's rule number two. Make sure the motion is straight towards the target. Okay, rule number three. You, People always think punch is only a single hand, but this punch motion that goes out is the active part. This punch motion that pulls back in is a passive part. So it's two motions occurring at one. Just think of it like riding on the bicycle, right? You don't just pedal one side. Two sides are pedaling in order to make it work. In order for you to generate the right and perfect motion to, to get the power, the hand that's pushing forward from the elbow is just as important as the hand being pulled back by the elbow. Okay, so push and pull, same time, and that is so key to remember. Okay, finally, another thing, probably something that people always forget or are not aware of, stay square. If you, if you can picture yourself leaning against the back of a wall, right? You're leaning on the back of a wall, people lose the squareness of the, of the power, right? In other words, they, they go like this. They're trying to shoot out the shoulder. See, don't mix and match. Wing Chun Punch is different from a boxing punch, from a karate punch and so forth. We're doing a Wing Chun Punch and that's today's subject. Perfect Wing Chun Punch. So you're staying square. Square means a support base for both hands to push and pull back. Okay? All right, so hopefully that wraps it up. I'm, I'm keeping it simple for you to remember. One, squeeze the hand just the right amount. If you feel muscle, that's wrong, right? Two, both hands occupying the center line, every single line. There is never a point in anything in Wing Chun where we open our center line. This is most valued treasure to us. Protect the center line. Three, aim straight. You're not aiming down and hammering your punch. There's a target straight ahead, right? Punch straight ahead, don't hammer it down. Uh, what was that? Uh, four, um, four basically, push and pull motion. Punch involves two, two motions. 
Push the elbow up, push the elbow, pull the elbow in. And finally, five. Stay square. Okay, if you can remember that, this is like the basic way to, to lead to the perfect motion, right? If you can remember these five rules when you're doing the punch, you'll end up having a better punch and actually end up with a perfect punch. Okay, so thanks again for subscribing to the site. If you have comments, questions, and so forth, don't hesitate to ask them below, um, and I'll be ha happy to answer them. All right, thank you again. Catch you guys later.